Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley, Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hearts, my people. Hey, wahala be like bicycle. Talking about the gist, I see the heart. Like, I don't know. I was thinking um, the brohaha or the shenanigans with the adenita sheep is over. <laughs> I don't know that we'll still be facing so many dramas with the ships. Like, yo, after how many months, guys? All right. We were all on our own, no. And then this podcast that Bad Boy Dex had with this same Olufemi Daniel, like this same guy that <laughs> that's why money went there to say something that um Fina has been paid out one BTC. The same guy who interviewed White Money, well, huh, it was the same guy. And if you can say the truth, like if you can pull off your stanship garment and you say the truth, you will know that ever since the Ulster season ended, we've not heard Ade Kunle said anything about the Adeni to ship. Like go on the space or anything or say anything about the identity ship or go for an interview or anything regarding that. Now the question is, why now? <laughs> there are various notions on this one. Some persons are like, oh yeah, we get it right. Obviously, Ulster's reunion is not holding where the viewers would have gotten clarity. Hence, this one. Now, um, talking about what happened, Adekunle said something on the podcast with Daniels. But let me read this from Big Baby Bella. Venita's trophy, Omo Biggie, just had to cancel their reunion, if not a blood everywhere. Ebuka, maybe we want that reunion. Venita must have shown Adekunle Shege, as in Pepe, he stressed the bad things. Did he use we're friends for Beauty and Daniela? They are not again. Hmm, who can public knowledge what Venita did for us now here is the thing yeah so on that podcast yeah Adekule said something he said he was asked about his relationship with Venita and then he said it couldn't work you know and then the boy was like okay what really happened you know you know podcasters now how they want to get to yeah, spill the tea for the people to spill the tea and Adekule opened up like he did open up in as much as I feel like he did not really open up, right? Because um, no matter how we tend to pull this, he tried to shed Venita on a different light because he made a statement that said, he said that he was not even ready to give that relationship a second shot because Venita did a lot of bad things. Emphasis on the bad things. Now, what is that bad things he never told us? The boy was like, okay, what was the bad things she did? What really happened? Adekule did not spill that part. But according to him, Venita actually did um, some bad things that would not even make, that would have been handled in a different way. You know, things behind the scene that we do not know. So, and he said the only moment of himself that he knows about Venita is the moment they had in the house. That any other thing outside of the house was nothing. That it did that Adenita did not even last one minute post show. You understand that the drama was just too much, so it didn't last anything. That so he's not even ready to give that relationship a second shot because of what he faced from Venita's hand on a bad light door. So people seeing him saying that about Venita and the um, shading on the bad spots, you know. So people are asking. What did Venita really do? What did she do? 
but we can't get the clarity because he did not say it. You know, he said even later at a post show, right, that they had conversation on this ship thinking. And he was thinking, okay, they've had this convo, but yet she never stopped doing what she was doing and now talking about the things she was doing um the guy was like okay things like what well, i clearly was not not hitting his hand on the table meaning maybe dissing him or something even after they had conversation meanwhile guys this story is a long one because the uh Denito, um the venita um what was it called fans went on space and then and they could leave fans also went on space and what we were hearing hey we had a bit like bicycle i think i would share those space with you guys you know i think i'll share with you guys if not today maybe tomorrow but i would definitely share that space with you guys because they said some things as um venita was actually sharing bad boy dex number to some peeps so as to go apologize oh my guys he just choked no need of me spilling that part here you guys will hear it on the space so now the fans are saying a lot as you can see all of those comments are what people have been saying about adekule and venita right some people feel like adekule is always acting the victim when it comes to do with anything with him with anybody that he would always act up so the unicorns are like they should okay this person said unicorns should should not give that man with a finished career clouds Venita would not still give Kuku the attention he's looking for. So the people feel like Adekule need clout, like he need his name to trend a little. Because if all this why he did not say anything about the Adenita ship, why is he saying it now? No one should come for Venita when she replies Kuku and we all she's coming in heart. I trust my Ven Dragon. Meanwhile, while Adekule was actually having that um, gist on podcast, people were admiring his voice. You know, he, the guy has a sweet voice. In as much as everything was going on, they were still admiring his voice. While he was receiving drugs, there are people there who are already melting up for his voice. Now, the question is this. What did Venita really do that made Adekule say that... Um, uh, he actually started it with, he doesn't want to put her in a bad light, but yet said that she did something so bad really bad and the thing she did bad is not even in the show post show guys behind the scene that you guys do not know about now the thing is what is the thing what does she do all right coming from tunes adekule is always the victim always he doesn't do anything no it's people that are always doing things to him very slimy man i hope venita showed him just enough shaggy before she <laughs> If Venita did not show him Shige, he would not come out here and say that it. he would never give it a second shot. Oh, Venita, I like you, please. I know she conjugated cuckoo like a verb. That was why he ran to grant this interview. A true man child. Any which ways. I do not think it was even recent the thing happened. But this interview he granted, I think he actually did it because the reunion did not hold. Be like, say, no, no emails are coming anymore. Not to cloud chase. Very, I skip that part. He should have said from both of us. There got to be something you you two did. You can't just say from her parts. She's not mad. Action and reaction. She didn't wake up to start acting crazy. If you say she overreacted, yes, it's possible. But you did something to trigger it. Mm, making sense though. Every time she speaks on an interview, she will never say anything to bring drugs to him. Always careful with her words and matured with her answers. But you see that's... Okay, I skip that. It's well. I'm glad the rubbish ended a long time ago. My woman is winning. That's all that matters. So now people are like, the way Adekule went on that podcast and said a lot of things happened in a bad light from Venita's end. Because the guy asked, from, is it from both ends? He said no, from Venita's end. So people feel like he would have said from both of their end because there is no how um, Adekule did not do something that made her act or react. Now, the thing is, we all watched the All-Star season. We all saw how the two of them, the relationship was, right? And the thing is, we've known that Adekule is one person that is not vocal. Like, he, he prefer to pen things down than even say, say out his feelings. We've seen how Venita has been the, the, mo the most outspoken one on that ship. 
but at the same time that does not mean that even when they were having a thing it's giving adequately cannot even put up with venita's drama so on that podcast he said i do not know venita prior to the show like before the show that his first time of meeting venita or getting anything to do with venita was on that show now with that thing he said it's giving if i had known who venita was before the show i wouldn't have even entered any ship with her that's what it's really giving like that is what it's really giving I don't understand why they make it seem as if she bamothed him in her interview. Babe hasn't said one bad thing, but whenever he's in front of a mic and camera, all the maturity and intelligence you all seem to brag about isn't evident. He has no ounce of media training. Meanwhile, this is the first media he went to to say a thing about the identity ship. I do not know about anyone else. Benita has done more than two interviews and you will never see people drag him, but let him do one or the whole social media will drag her to hell so people feel like venita is more matured on this one that venita would go to interview they would ask her something she would be like it just didn't work but adequately has gone there painting venita black blue and red all right coming from men end this shows you how respectful the boundaries between adequately and his fans are meanwhile venita was busy sharing all their convo to her fans to drag him and even went as far as leaking his numbers to shippers to persuade him all because she was desperate guys this was something i heard on the space i'm like hey wahala be like bicycle like from where to where like why would even venita do that to give shippers number two i don't think that would even happen i hope they are not cooking things up and then this person said she did more than what you all think sha now the question is what does she do especially talking about she did something worse right the way adequately spoke on that podcast it means something really really happened for someone who doesn't want to put venita in the bad light he really did a lot of talking that guy is a gaslighter and he would have also avoided the question but hey we know he is sneaky exactly the main reason was to go and talk about what happened okay this person said dex rest you and your colleagues clearly ditched the reunion because you guys are forming was not we don't care about anything all stars again but meanwhile i think adequately was amongst the people who accepted the reunion remember they said some of the housemates rejected the the reunion invite so but i heard adequately was amongst the people who accepted to come for the reunion yeah Venita and Adekule drama is as boring as the identity ship. They were just two actors on the show that used a script they know fans always like. <laughs> Wahala Villa Barsico. Every ship from All Stars was a script and they all worked for the participants. I blame you all that we're actively shipping people that already know what viewers like. Hmm. What, are you sure? Like, are you sure every ship there was actually a script? <laughs> she has you see it now right you've seen what is going on with the adenita but the thing is from the get-go the adenita actually put a stop on ship trending them or anything anything that has to do with ship are talking about them they actually said nothing is going on from venita's end she's even trying to give a little bit room for shippers but i think they came out and put it to a stop you see, so I think I wasn't expecting this drama to even happen again because I think they tried to handle it from the onset not to escalate the way it is going on right now. Any which ways, guys, tell me what do you think? Do you think Adekunle is indeed the gaslighter for him to come there and shed Venita on a bad light or you think Venita really deserves? What do you think about this Adenita Bruhaha? Let me know what you think in the comment section as I will be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.